On Mount Olympus, the gods were debating whether Odysseus should return home. Eventually, Zeus decides Odysseus should return, so he sends Hermes, the messenger god, to tell Calypso to set Odysseus free. While the goddess Athena goes to Odysseus' son Telemachus to help him find out what happened to his father, because he and his mother's palace is being overrun with suitors after their fortune. Athena, in disguise, convinces him to go to Nestor, who fought with Odysseus in the Trojan War. But he does not know what happened to him. He suggests to go to Menelaus, who knows that Odysseus is stranded with Calypso. Meanwhile, Hermes travels to Calypso's island, and she agrees to let Odysseus go. So he sets sail on a small raft, but it is destroyed during a storm created by Poseidon, the god of the sea. Eventually, he washes up on the shore of the Phaeacians, who welcome him and declare a holiday in his honor. Odysseus proves his strength by throwing a discus farther than anyone else. Then, King Alcinous asks him who he is, so Odysseus starts his story. After leaving Troy, Odysseus and his men attacked a city, but reinforcements arrive and they had to flee. Then they came upon the Lotus Eaters, where many of his men ate a strange plant and lost all desire to go home. But Odysseus dragged them away, only to land on the Cyclopes Island, where they were locked in Polyphemus, the Cyclops' cave. But Odysseus blinded him and tricked him into moving the boulder, blocking the exit. After sailing more, they came upon the Keeper of the Winds, who gave Odysseus a bag of wind to blow them back to Ithaca. But his men opened it, and it blew them the wrong way, where they landed on the giant Lestragonians, who threw boulders at Odysseus' ship, killing many of his men. They escaped and came to the witch, Circe, who turned Odysseus' men into pigs, then told him to go to the underworld and find a prophet. In the underworld, Odysseus talked to Tiresias, the prophet who tells him the path to Ithaca. Then they pass the sirens, who lure sailors to crash on their rocks, but Odysseus' men tied him to the mast of the ship. Once they passed the sirens, they came upon the whirlpool Charybdis. To avoid it, they passed Scylla, a six-headed monster who ate six of Odysseus' men. Next, they came to the Island of the Sun, where Odysseus' men sacrificed the sun's sacred cattle, and the ship was destroyed, leaving Odysseus as the sole survivor to wash up on Calypso's island. When Alcinous hears Odysseus' story, he gives him a ship and sends him back to Ithaca. When he gets there, Odysseus wants to make sure that everyone is still loyal to him after being gone for 20 years. So Athena gives him a disguise as a beggar. He then meets his swineherd, Eumaeus, who welcomes Odysseus, not knowing who he is. Telemachus returns to Ithaca and Odysseus reveals himself to his son. They then plan to kill the suitors. The next day there is a contest to string Odysseus' bow and send an arrow through twelve axes. Out of all the suitors, Odysseus is the only one who can do it. Then, as Antinous, the leader of the suitors, is taking a drink, Odysseus shoots an arrow at him and kills him. Odysseus and Telemachus battle with all the suitors and kill them. After all the suitors are gone, Penelope, Odysseus' wife, tests him to make sure that it's him. Then she truly believes him. But the relatives of the suitors want to kill Odysseus. But Athena convinces all of them to live in peace.